Alright, okay. Now you've actually so. Selected it. I mean, I, I had before, had I not? Uh, uh, Alright, hang on, let me actually open Epic Pen. Epic. Ah, Epic Pen. Epic Pen. Let's go. Let, let's go. Alright, um. Hang on. If that isn't the first thing you do, there's something wrong with you. Change my mind. Oh, you're good. Nah, even then. Alright, so. So in the angle comp, as the name suggests, you take angles. Right? Do you guys know like what that looks like roughly? I mean, I did all that. That's, that's, also, that's how do you not know what map it is? It was an immaculate drawing. It was an absolutely immaculate drawing of a false sky. I, I, I actually just, sometimes I just forget about Sky, yeah. Sky, yeah. Uh -huh, so By the way, you, you, will, map, you will only have uh, 4 minutes because you are in the actual game. Oh, I don't. <laughs> yeah, let's go fast. <laughs> Loads. Yeah. Well, it isn't World Sky like a good Junkrat map because there's I mean, the I mean, only one. Only one yeah, that, 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 yeah uh, it is. I mean, like, kind of. I just forget them not. because I. I, I just rarely get the map. That's why I just used to like the map. Oh, and Trevor's gonna go, go play. Yeah, so. <laughs> no, it's, it's me, it's me. How long did you play? You've got like five minutes for us to go and do this one. But no worries, yeah, I'm, I'm recording it. So it's, I don't, I can't, how, how do you hide UI? Like, it's just not working. Isn't it Alt Z? Uh, old Y or Old Z? Alright, that's close enough. Um, Alright, so, angle comp. Right, the idea of an angle comp, as the name suggests, is that you take multiple angles, right? So, the comp, I'm oh, just yes. gonna, I'm just going to Chrome for now. I am streaming my entire screen, right? Yeah? Oh shit, Moxie does find a topic for me. Okay, okay so. Fuck, what is it? Oh, oh what? I need to go now, guys. Okay. Alright, see you, man. Bye. Bye, pup. Alright, see ya. Okay, so we go. Alright, I wrote a bit about this. I'm not sure if anyone actually went and read it. I actually read it and I got confused a little bit. Okay. <laughs> well, why, where did you get confused? Um, well, okay. Let me get What's an angle? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can explain that if you want. Like, that is actually a very key part of the comp. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, no, uh, th the only thing, like, I, I, get the, I, get the, I get the core, but I think, like, uh, the text is, like, basically just a lot of, uh, what do you call it? Stichpunkte, fuck. Uh, He's dissing your handwriting. No, no, um, <laughs> no, the, uh, it just mashed up the uh, sentence, so just explain it over again. Alright, okay, so the main thing this comp is based around, right, is a, a part, apart from angles, if you haven't figured, um, is ball slam, right? He has this very nice ability where he lands inside of the enemy team and they all become stun locks for like a solid second. And basically, in that time, you know, Tracer Farah dive, Zarya gets energy and goes burr, and yes, hopefully an anti, although that's not always reliable. Um, Zarya just plays king of the hill for the, for the <laughs> roof. Alright, so the way I'm just gonna show you, like, how you would play this, because just speaking about it normally is kind of. Yeah, I don't know. So, Ball would normally set up, like, in here, because you can third-person peek, like, all of this, and then tell you where they're coming. Um, Alright, hang on, who's actually here? So, 
Right, Kevin and Space, there isn't really many, like... Yeah, well, we're like, yeah. Yeah, there's only <laughs> one real place where you can set up, and it's... Cause as Mercy... long as our feet are not touching the ground, we're good. <laughs> I mean, it's like, not, it's like all of this is brilliant cover for Mercy, right? And then Farah can just chill in the air, like here. Or yeah. like, you know, just around here and just spam them out. Um... Yeah, noob, yeah, you'd probably also be on Mercy in this comp, because it'd be, you know, Teddy on Anna, and then either one of the two of you on Mercy. Yeah, I'd be Uh, yeah, Anna would set up, you know, back here for the record. Yeah, but I don't have, I don't really have any sights on the, uh, Zarya or the ball. No, Zarya's gonna be on the roof. Zarya's, Zarya's here. And ball can just, like, uh, and ball, go and to ball you. doesn't. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, then that's then I didn't think. I mean yeah, you sorry, could place King of the Hill. You could set up like closer. Only issue with it is it exposes yourself, right? So in fact maybe even it might be better to set up like this high ground instead. Uh fuck me. Any any coach. Hang on. Yeah, maybe it would be better to set up like this high ground instead. I'm just it's just kind of you're much more exposed. The issue with setting up like somewhere here is brawl comp go burr, right? That's a very short rotation. And even if ball gets a chunk slam, that's probably not gonna be enough, right? Uh, 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 what what I can do is just um peek a little bit a little bit more back behind the corner. Like yeah. I'm I'm just playing from the inside. Side. Yeah, like here, but like this. Yeah, you do always want to be playing a corner as Anna. No, 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 left side, left side. Like, uh, where the windows are. What? So, like here? Yeah, just a little bit like in the... Uh, like they don't see me, like in the cover. So, okay. like this. Oh, Teddy! Hey, Teddy! Hey, Teddy! Oh, hey, Teddy. Teddy, Teddy, wait a second. Teddy. We free owed. No, like, um, hey, nice. Guys, wait, wait. So, I could just tickle this, um... Wiggle in and out there, and when ball slaps, I can just throw a nade and just walk back to the high ground to support the area. Because it will be easier to land the nade. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely something you could try, and you could you could try that when you try the comp. It just it does put you in a very exposed angle because it's like characters like Kree, like yeah. No, but like I'm 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 keeping myself hidden until the ball slams, then I peek out, throw a nade, and walk back. I don't know, that depends what you're playing, like. But, yeah, right, let's pre okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pretend this truck isn't here because this truck is annoying me, right? So Okay, so Spark, you here? Alright, did you see the thing I put in strategy? Uh yeah. Okay. The next Mona Lisa, honestly. Okay, so where do you set up as Tracer? Okay, right, so let's say, so you have Pharmacy here, right? You have your Zara set up on the high ground, you have your Ana over by the grates, and your Ball here looking to slam the choke. Where Where's a nice spot to set up as Tracer? I'd say behind them, but it's probably a bit too far. Yeah, that's way too far behind them. Either in the side room, like by the pharmacy, or so like up, in here. Yeah, or like up with like the three window. What, like by here? Yeah. All right. So let's say, let's say you want to slam like this truck here. Which one will be better? Like, let's let's ignore this truck. This truck doesn't on exist. Right. One on the right, yeah. But it's like, oh fuck, hang on. It's like, the idea of a comp is, it's like, as you can see, you're already taking, because the, these are me at, like, the, these, this angle is, like, from here, right? So you have all these different angles, and ball slam is just, you cannot move anymore, right? So you're just, you're poking them out from so many different sides, and then as soon as you slam, you have actually quite a nice dive comp to go hard with, with the farm team tracer. To follow up on the ball slam, it's like... Yeah. It's like a more aggro double bubble, right? It's more aggro because, you know, you have, like, 
you have the Mercy and you're engaging on a Ball Slam, so you're not going to be able to stay in as long, and your backline is also less survivable, so you do kind of want to go faster. That being said, you also have the abilities, like, if they don't engage onto you, you can poke them out as much as you like, right? Because you can just roll through with Ball, burn all the cooldowns, you can really nice spam on Farah. Um, you want to be careful about poking them out as Tracer, because you need to be far enough back that, you know, they can't turn around and actually force you out. Like, like, yeah. So, that's kind of like, yeah, that's kind of how you want to play it. So, like, Ball sets up for Slam. Let's say Ball wants to Slam this choke here. I'm just going to pretend this truck isn't here, so it's, you know, much easier to follow up on. Right? That's when, you know, Fire would conk in, Trace would blink around the side, Zarya would bubble, and, you know, probably walk up, although that's kind of... That can be a bit sketch, but, you know. And Anna would throw a chunk anti. Right, and Mercy would just do Mercy things. Feels bad, space. Um, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I just point Kevin in the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Backseat gaming. <laughs> it's better. It's better than playing Brig. Oh, fair, fair. Um, I, I get the fat hit markers without having to aim. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's Jeremy. Wait. wait mm. What if you could headshot with Farah? It would be kind of sick. Why? No, like, what if you can headshot with Zankred? Like, holy shit, that would be... <laughs> How would that even... Yeah, uh. People already complain that Hanzo arrows have fat hitboxes. Could you imagine getting headshot by a fucking rocket? <laughs> <laughs> like, Yikes. 260 damage, like, on your head instantly. Yeah. So that's like... Yeah, that's kind of how you want to play the comp. Like, I'm not saying, like, this is how it would pan out, like, bit for bit on this map, because obviously this truck is a big issue and you are very far forward. So, that's just kind of how you'd want to engage, right? You'd want your ball to set up to slam somewhere, you'd want your fire and your tracer, and, you know, your Zarya all taking different angles. If there isn't high grounds like this where you can position each other on, because like Zarya can see everything here, it's like it's too good not to take up, so you just split them away from Yana. Anna can't actually get here, otherwise, in fact, even then, that's kind of sketch if they're running like a monkey or some shit. Um, yes, yeah, so you want to go like on the back line, right? Because especially like if they're running, you know, double bubble or if they're running like a ball diva comp or whatever, that's like. Yeah, that's what you gotta go on, you can't just... Even on like a brawl comp, you do kind of want some of that I mean, that's just like, very small things. Um, Alright, let's say let's say you don't want to play for first choke, right? And you wanna... And, the, and they rotate right side, yeah? So you're all... Oh, fuck, I'm actually an A. Hang on. So you're all set up in your normal positions. I'm actually just gonna write letters. Okay, so you don't want to play for first choke, right? So let's say they walk through, ball rolls through, you know, Trace gets some poke off, Fire gets some spam in, right? Nothing. Oh, fuck's sake, bro. <laughs> oh, this is going great. Ooh. Right, okay, so let's say let's say you're not engaging for first choke, right? But you do you do want to set up here because it gives you very nice angles, even if you are playing for first choke. Um, let's say they path this way, right? And they want to go up the... Actually, you know what? Even, even simpler, even simpler. Let's say, to start, they want to go straight to point, alright? How do you guys want to play this? Or, well, like, okay, so... Where do, where do you think Ball would want to slam them? Because this is actually kind of awkward for Ball to slam. Like, that was just kind of an example. In between choke and house. In between choke and house. So, like... What do you mean? So, like, so like yeah. here. Yeah, that's actually really nice, because if you look, that's like, they're open from this side, they're open from this side, they're open from the high ground from the Ana, from the and they're also open to Zarabi. So it's like... Yeah, but, but only the downside is, if they know that the ball is going to slam, they will actually move towards the uh, uh, Zarya, so that we can get them from the house. I mean, they, it's like, well, what are you going to do, though? Like, you have high ground. All Zarya has to do to not get hit is do this. Because she's on her, like she doesn't even have to drop. She can literally just take a step back, and they can't see her. 
because high ground go no, burn. No, but like there are people with the boss slam who can just go up there. What, you mean like once Ball slams them, they walk on to the Zarya? Yeah, because some, uh... What, so, some so Ball, ball <laughs> slams Brawl Cop, Brawl Cop amp speed onto high ground. Fair enough. Alright, so... Sure, if my first of all, also really small. First of all, they don't go high enough. Second of all, they're stun locked, like they start falling before they can actually move left and right. Third of all, once ball slams, they've got a lot more than just Zarya to deal with, right? It's like, yeah, Zarya might die, but while she keeps kiting away, let's let's say they do magically get on the high ground, right? While she's kiting away, Pharmacy is coming in. Anna's got on a chonk anti, Tracer's gone round behind, I'm not drawing my line because all of the other shit. But it's just there's so much spam and there's so many angles, right? There's so many different angles. Because you've got to think, right? This is... Okay, ig ignore everything I've drawn, right? So, this is the Brawl Comp. Ball's just slammed it. You got Tracer coming in like this. You got Zarya looking at him like this. You got Pharmacy looking at him like this. And you got a big anti-nade coming in like that. How are they going to deal with anything? It's like, yeah, this one might die. But then, these three go harder... And they, and they, you know, they're just free because they're only looking at one triangle, of the angles. It's like, that's a whole idea. They can only deal over. with, yeah, it's like, they can only deal with one thing at a time. So when they deal with that, everything else is free. Ryan, Ryan, higher sensitivity and go burr with shield. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 100% Ryan blocking everything. Yeah. <laughs> It oh, works. They, just, they play Orisa Ryan and then they put the Orisa shield behind and then Ryan shield in front and they just turtle up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, but then they can't move anywhere. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> and you just have pharmacy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they've man. just they've just made a bunker. Ryan Orisa they was just, actually surprisingly shit at dealing with angles. Yeah. Um, I just hang out. I just wanna. I think this would be a nice comp for you guys to run on Night Market, to be honest, because I don't think like the Sig core is getting enough value as I should. As is it? More like, yeah. I don't think the sig core is working that well. I think if you ran something like this, which was a bit like harder dive, it'd suit your playstyle more. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's like this hard dive. Yes. Not like not a harder level dive, level but a harder level dive. Comp. We go. It's like this <laughs> this go, comp go. right. This comp right. It, it likes very scrappy fights right because most people are doing the same thing. Like, oh, sorry, something opposite of that. Everyone is doing different things, right? Tracer's doing their own thing, pissing off in the back line. Pharmacy's spamming from Narnia. Anna's looking for chonk flank nades, pretending they're fucking Twilight. And Zarya's going burr, right? The, the, the thing they have in common, right, is, is the bull slam. Like, yeah, Anna and Zarya will normally be playing together, but, like, going on flank nades and feeding for flank nades is actually surprisingly viable. Because if you die, but you get anti off, you know, neither team has healing, and they're gonna have more healing anyway, right? That's not. Um. Yeah. So going for flank nades is very valuable in this comp. That is definitely viable. Um. High risk, high reward. High risk, high reward. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I see flank nades. Yeah. Exactly. Go. It or is. You, or you feed, or you get a big anti. No and, what you go. And, and you get a sleep on the right, and then no shield, and then you go barrage, and then you go burr. And then oh, you go. Oh, oh, I did it in the scrim. I'm, I'm, I did it last match in Rialto. I just <laughs> left the right and chucked a nade in. That's how I got like a four man nade. <laughs> Alright. But, um. I can love this combo. Yeah, right. So that's like. That's like kind of a general gist, right? So they, they try and rotate through. This is a lot of the time when you're going to hard engage with the ball slam right because the rest of the time you know tracer will be poking out from a mile behind pharmacy will be poking out from the sky zara will just be right clicking from wherever they're set up and ball would just be you know rolling from displacing them so they're rotating even slow but this is this is where you want to engage them right i mean this is more for ollie but like it's also for you guys to know because this is where he's going to look to slam like ideally you fight plan this and you really should be fight planning this but you know Shit happens. It's whatever. 
But yeah, right, so their so they're mid rotation, you slam them, this is where, you know, just everyone converges. So you have a Tracer will go around behind, Pharmacy will come in from the top, and like conking against a wall, I did like kind of touch on it, but yeah, conking against a wall to get in and close the distance very fast, like you would be on a barrage, because because that like that's kind of what you're doing, right? You're just half engaging, aren't you? So you have Tracer going in, you have Thing going in. Yeah, so like that's kind of how you want to it, how you want to do it. Right, let's... Okay. Different half. Let's say they're going. Let's say they're going this way, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore ball. Um, actually, actually no, no, I'm not. I'm gonna. Move that there. Okay, let's say they're pathing this way. The ball. So ball will see them as soon as ball sees them start going like this. Assume they're pathing top because even if they're pathing main, like. Because if they decide to go like that and then change it, you can just go, oh, nope, going main. But, uh, and then all you do is you go, you know, like that. You start back and then you come back. Like it's. Whereas if they go like this and act and you don't, and you think they're going main, and then you take, like, you keep an aggressive angle and then they rush you. It's just not fun. Um. So yeah, let's, let's say they're going top, right? So we're going top. How how do you guys want to play this? Do you think? How did, does anyone want to suggest to start how where where ball would go? Right. Uh, mega room. What like down there? Yeah, the mega room, and then it stops because um, they could just swing up and protect Anna if they hard if they hard engage. Right. So that was, that was like the next bit I was get, gonna get on was like, where do you want to hard engage? But like, first of all, if you're set up here, the first bit you gotta deal with is like, what you do with everyone stuck in a path, right? So, as soon as, as soon as they call this, you wanna, you wanna get the fuck away from here. And Teddy, you, you, do you have any idea where you'd wanna rotate to if they start rotating up here? Um, uh, one sec. Uh, yeah, of course. Okay, let's. I'm just gonna remove everything. If they rotate, I can either just go back high ground or just rotate, jump down. Okay, jumping down is terrible. I can jump down, but that's just like 99% suicide. And I, yeah. I, or I can just run back to more uh, towards mega room. Yeah, you wanna run back, but not quite to mega room. You wanna go like. Yeah, still high ground, still high ground. Yeah, you wanna go like. Even here is a bit sketch, I'm not gonna lie to you, but... Yeah, I mean, ideally you get over here, but I think that's a bit too long. You could probably, like, this is why you don't really want to set up here, because if they do path like this, it's very rough for you. Although, yeah. what ball is gonna do, like, nine times out of ten, like, unless you see something on a comp which goes, ah, oh, fuck, I cannot do this, because... Yeah. First of all, you set up. They, they don't know where you are. They don't know balls here. Ball can just roll straight through, and then set up like behind them, right? I mean, if they all turn uh, around for yeah. ball, ball just keeps rolling away, and it's just like Benny Hill theme intensifies, right? Yeah. And they just keep burning cooldowns and getting spent out, right? So ball can buy a bit of time in that sense. So it's all right starting there, but it's still, I don't know, starting all back. It's just kind of, um, yeah, dropping is suicide. So you just want to back to here. You want to back as far as possible. If you can get round to like, hang on. If you can get round to here, so that you can play yeah. like this, and then you can still see like Zarya on the high ground and where they're rotating. This is brilliant. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's yeah, that's where you'd want to rotate. Um. So, yeah, so just to, yeah, ball would roll through here and just knock them back while they're all coming and meanwhile Pharmacy can spam them out because they're going to be even slower rotating through that bit and Tracer can kind of, if they don't turn around for the ball, you're very fine, like, once they step into the mini room, you're very fine just, like, going by here as Tracer and just spamming them out from quite far away. You don't want to yeah. get any closer because otherwise you're going to get farmed on Tracer. Um... Right, let's say, let's say we've made it to here. Where, where do you guys... So, yeah, 
You're, you're right in saying, like, this is the most exposed part of the, of the rotation, right? Because, yeah, you have these small windows that Farrah can spam from and that Zarya can spam from, whatever, right? But this is, like, the only place you can actually engage on. So this is where Bull wants to slam, right? Um, where does everyone else want to be, right? Who is... Okay, so... Farrah, you're... You've got pretty easy thing here. Where... Do, Ball slamming here, where do you want to be? Like above point. Above point? Right, so let's say just like here in the air, generally. Like, just straight above. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, that's fine. The most ideal scenario, though, to follow up on a ball slam is literally right above them. Because if <laughs> ball slams and you're directly above them, how are they supposed to kill you, right? Like, it's really hard for a Kree to look up and deal with Farah. And if Kree's looking up and dealing with Farah, you know, Tracer is incredibly free if Kree is just staring into the sun. Um, so yeah, that is, that is the most ideal place to follow up on a ball slam, is just directly above them, or as, like, as close to them as possible, right? But, like, you still want vertical distance. So, like, around this thing, and then Mercy can play, like, here. And it's all, and um, yeah, it's all great. Well, actually, maybe not like here, but like literally just this whole wall. If, if they're like around here, this whole wall is, is cover for your space. Um, right, Zarya, how would you want to rotate to get to them? Zarya is not here. Fuck. All right, Tracer. So you're, you're here. They've rotated. Right. All right, see you, man. Bye. Okay, so... Spark, you still with us? Yeah. Okay, so they've rotated all the way through like this. You're here from poking them out when they were in the mini room. How do you want to rotate to engage on them here? Because this is where this is where Ball's looking to slam. I'd say you were path the same way they went, or behind them, and then wait for them to engage. But that can be dodgy. But there's no other, like if he slams high ground, there's no other way I can get up apart from like Mega's just kind of it. I'm gonna be in the fight as soon as I got up the stairs, so it's a bit suicidal. I mean, like, that's the whole idea of a ball slam, but, right? It's like, you're hard no, engaging, because like, I mean, like, everyone's I mean, like, unlocked. No, I mean, like, if I go up the stairs, and there's just a Ryan swinging there, I've got no distance to get in. That's sort of what I mean. Right. Whereas if I go up, like, the stairs behind, I have, like, a little bit where I'm not going to get shot straight away as soon as I peek to follow up. Yeah, so you wanna you wanna rotate like this, yeah? Yeah, or like that or like all the way behind. Or like the other stairs, yeah. Okay, so what well, so like round here, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so straight up the problem with that is I'm just assuming this is a brawl team, right? Because they're gonna be rotating the fastest. This works with the backline of any comp, you just need to kind of be aware of the threats that are on your team as well. Generally, like, the easiest way to peel for that is, like, Farah and defensive bubbles, and if they are running some kind of more divier comp, you want your honor and your Zarya to play together as well. But, yeah. So, assuming this is a Brawl comp, the reason you can't just path around like this, because they have a Lucio, right? So they're just, they're, they're already faster than you are normally. Three blinks, or, like, He's not going to get you around there in time, but they just have to go like this, right? Because you have to, you have to go much further. So that one doesn't work. Um, the reason why, like up here, is kind of sketch. Actually, do you think? Right. So they've just, they've just walked out of this doorway. Ball slammed. So to engage, you have to be like here to actually see the slam. Like that's. Can you see why that's like kind of sketch? Yeah. Because that kind of puts you in melee range. Um, so I get what you mean about like. It's like if you were to come up these stairs, like if they have, you know, a Ryan swing in here, yeah, you are kind of fucked. However, like that's the whole idea of the comp, right? You're drawing away so many angles that they can't actually just deal with you that simply. Like, Hang on, actually saying that, that makes this sound less sketch, right? The, the main reason this is sketch is more than just putting your melee range to come out, even if, like, 
you don't really have anywhere you can properly AD strafe, right? So you're you're kind of you're in a very small area and you don't really have anywhere to go. Like you have to hard disengage, right? If anyone starts looking at you, you can get forced out very easily down here. Whereas if you path from underneath and you go say it like this up the stairs, you're or you're already further away from the slam, and then you have all this area you can kite away from. And you're taking, you're, there's no chance of getting forced out while you're down here, right? Because they literally cannot see you. Yeah. So yeah, you might take a hammer swing when you go through, but you just kite back and there's a mini really far back if it's that bad. But in the meantime, on the ball slam, like, there's a pharmacy up here spamming down, the ball's gone in, there's a big anti for one of them. Like, there's so many, there's so much stuff, like, that's the whole idea of a comfort. There's so much stuff you can't just look at one thing. If you just look at one thing, yeah, that one thing might feed, but there's so many other things that they just don't live. But, yeah, you want to pack under because it's, yeah, there's no chance of getting forced out when you're underneath, and once the slam goes off, you can, like, kite around here. Whereas here, you can get forced out very easily, and you have to go all this way. Looks like right in front of them. Okay. So, I think that's covered up. Zarya, okay, so Zarya kind of wants to do the same thing. Like, they want to they wanna walk up like this, because that's the only, uh... Actually, actually that kind of seems... I don't know. Like, you do want to close the distance here, Zarya, but it's not quite like Double Bubble, because Monkey can stay in and can... You know, because he has the ball, he has an other pocket. Whereas if ball just stays stood in front of everyone, he's gonna feed, right? That's why he has more mobility. Okay, game just shut down. That's whatever. Yeah, so you can't take as angry angles as you do with double bubble. However, you do want to. You know, walk up and be maybe just like even just from low ground, or just I'm pretty sure. Can you? You might be able to rocket jump between the high grounds. In which case, if you can rocket jump here, like actually, that look does look a bit far. I don't think it's okay. No. Kevin, why did you leave me to queue? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I accidentally the queue, and I was like, why can't I go out of it? <laughs> <then> All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. I don't know. Oops, um, the call. All right, right, if one. they. So right, how do we deal with it? I'm gonna I'm gonna put everyone's letters back down. How do we deal with it if they decided to go right side? Yeah. So if they want a path like this now. Yeah. How how do we deal with that? We can slam uh, when they go between doors between the doors yeah that is that's one of two places you want to slam or one of the two places you can slam so yeah this is this is a very nice place to slam the other nice place you can slam is up here however that does make it quite awkward for tracer because the only way they can engage is back around behind like it's not as bad because there's it's less it's not as long as the other high ground but it is still pretty bad it's by no means ideal. Um, so yeah, you do kind of want to slam them while they're rotating, yeah? Okay, so... First of all, Tracer, right? So if they r literally rotate where you're set up, where do you, where do you want to go here? Spark. I guess retreat yep. all the way back to the high ground. What, you want to go all the way back up here? <coughs> or, is, or go back to point? What a point. Um, I mean, if I go back, if I go back to the high ground and then they, ooh, it kind of, it kind of depends. If I go to high ground and they follow me, they're not gonna catch up for me without me. Like, I'll, I'll, like if I blink into the high ground, I'm gonna be able to get away. Whether I drop down, go around the side, if they don't follow me, and then ball slams, I have a high ground to engage up. And then if I go to point. And they go to high ground. I'm kind of just stuck looking at things on the high ground. Yeah, and then they that's can just 
I got do nothing. That's perfect. Yeah. So high ground go burr, even on tracer. Um. Here I would say you want to take a more aggressive angle as Zara because like if your ball's slamming here, they're really exposed here, right? Yeah. And so your Fara is already above them, which is beautiful. Your Zara is gonna walk in like this. Ana has nice angles on them and can get a chunk anti. And in this situation, you'd even be fine, probably, poking out from here. Like you wouldn't be able to go all the way in. But with a fire on top of them and your Zarya can close the distance here with self bubble. Yeah. Um, you would be fine poking them out from here. It's gonna be a bit safer than going here because Zarya, you know, tanks draw the most aggro just by nature. Yeah. Because they have the least mobility. They're probably gonna be looking at the Zarya, which means taking the same angle as her. Zarya jump is actually possible. Not ideal. Oh, it is? Yeah. But it's really hard to pull off. Oh, I don't know. Uh. I don't know. If it's possible, it's definitely worth a try, because if you can back off there and just chill with Viana for when they set up, and then you can go around like this, like this way, when they slam the other side, that uh, is kind of nice. Um, right, yeah, so far you don't really have to do anything but it's because. It's possible, Kevin. Because if they slam here, like. You know, Mercy just rotates around by here, or, well, might take a bit more aggressive angle because Farah wants to be on top of him, right? But, yeah. And if ball scouts are going that way, ball literally just goes like this, can swing off of a corner or like this, and then just slam up here. Like, it's not, you know, nothing fancy. Um, the other one is, a big part of, like, ball into ball comps is... If you're the defending team, ball can afford to take the 1v1 with the ball, because it just means they get no space, right? Which means, however, that also means you cannot hard engage. So if that does happen, like, that is great. You want your ball to call it, because if the attacking team has no space, you already have map control. So you don't you don't need, the, like, you already have the space, but you can't hard engage, right? Which means you wouldn't be able, which means everything just turns into spam, right? You're just taking out, you're just kiting. You're not hard engaging, you're not following up on a ball slam, you just want to chill and you want to kite. However, the attacking ball will normally be able to leave by then. So let's say, for whatever reason, the thing here gets delayed, or someone isn't ready, or you don't have cooldowns, and you want to slam up here. How do people want to take angles, right? So, where would it be? Tracer would be here, Zarya would still be here because you didn't hard engage. Um, after you do for a nade, Arna, you do want to, just very simply, you do want to rotate back here. There's no reason to stay on the windows once this engage is gone. That's like, yeah, um, yeah, it's just kind of the same though, right? Because it's ball slams, fire conks in, sits on top of them from like up here. Mercy can use all of this as cover. Yeah, you'd probably already be set up here, right, as Tracer, because you'd back off this way, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, the only way you do it is because you don't really want to, like, there's no reason to go all the way up here, because you don't want to take the same angle as Aria. Like, the only reason you'd go all the way up is if you could go in like this. So even... Even just coming low ground, because you have, you have so much space to kite, even if you're, like, backing in here and then coming low ground, because this is still like quite nice to engage from, and one blink and you're around a corner. So you have plenty of space to kite to, and you do have a mini, although that's... Yeah, that is in their thing. It's just making nice, because non, you know, people don't always come out at the same time, so, you know. On the stairs, you're already looking at the support while everyone's on the high ground, right? So, if you, when you back into here, you want to path low ground. Or you want to stay like on the low ground bit, you don't, there's no real reason to go up top. You can ignore what I said earlier about high ground go burrow. Like it does, but in this case, there's no reason to take it. Um, yeah, that's. Uh, Zara would still be up top, so. But like, this is beam range. And also, if you do see the opportunity, you can try and hard engage Azaria, or like walk in and take the space, because you do have self-bubble 
close the distance. It's not going to be as fun as Double Wobble. You won't be able to go as aggro on Zarya. However, you can still do a lot if you get to close the distance. You just need to be careful when, right? You want to go when most aggro is taken. Because Zarya is the most immobile, and without self bubble, Zarya is definitely the most vulnerable. So it's like, you know, with, tra with Tracer in my back, Pharmacy above them, and um, Ball engaging, you just kind of have to decide, okay, I can go now when the most aggro is drawn. Yeah, that's kind of how a comp works. You just sit on them and slam them mid rotation. Not much to say. Attack, it's a bit more difficult. Attack, the, the main thing you want to do is you want to try and take angles yourself, right? You want to, like, once ball scouted and knows where he wants to slam, the rest of the time you're just doing roll throughs, you're just spamming a bit of pharmacy, you're just pathing us Tracer and Zarya and Anna are also pathing, but they'll be doing it in a very different manner to Tracer. And you're just looking... You're, you're very chill on attack, right? You just wait till everyone can get angles on the same place, and then you go. Like, it's... But the key bit is taking angles, like... Yeah, but it's... You know, simpler than it seems, and it can fuck over a lot. I think this is definitely... Like, this is a very nice... Because, like, Voss guy's a weird map, and all of these characters work quite well here. So it's definitely a nice comp you could run. Um, yeah, I haven't really got much more to say. Oh, actually, you should try it on Night Market, though, because I think... You know, you've already tried the ball there. I think having the Zarya to brawl on point and the Tracer, as well as the Fire to follow up, I will probably get more value on the, than the Kree. And the Zarya to brawl from the, instead of a Sig is just quite nice. Um, yeah, any questions? No? Everyone good? Yep. Right.